What's going on fellow engineers? So this is another update about the Sense Energy Monitor for month three. Hey, so thanks for checking out the Almost Engineer channel. My name is Kenny. This video will cover the month of September for the Sense Energy Monitor that I have installed. So uh, this makes month three of having it fully in three billing cycles of having it fully installed. So as you see, first things first, I got a Sense shirt. Free stuff is always great. So I've posted on my Instagram and Twitter. Wait, you do follow me on Instagram and Twitter, right? If not, there's a link in the description also down here. So I posted that the attic fan was running and that by having sense, I was able to identify that it was running at the wrong time of the day. And so in response, the sense team sent the message back saying, Hey, you should go post this on our sense saves site and you'll be entered into the competition that they had during the month of September for free stuff. So I did that and guess what? I won. So I got a free shirt. In addition, I also got a Amazon gift card for $25. So the plan now is to go use that Amazon gift card to buy LED bulbs or at least some compact fluorescent bulbs to get rid of the remaining incandescent bulbs that I have. By doing that, that will further reduce the amount of electricity that I am consuming. So what else have I found out during month three? Uh, I've also gotten my uh, always on usage down. So it was roughly floating around 220 to 230 watts continuously. Uh, that has dropped down now to like 205, between 205 and 210. Um, what I found is that actually most of that was related to the ceiling fans. And so because I keep the ceiling fans running on low throughout the summer, when I first set it up, uh, since always, since thought that that was a always on load, but once, you know, as the temperature has changed, as the season has changed, that always on load has since dropped because I now stopped using the ceiling fans or not all of them, but a significant number of them that I do have. So the next thing I'm going to try to do to get that always on load down even further is to reduce the number of network switches that I have plugged in. I currently have about three network switches, including router, internet modem, um, that is always on. So I'm trying to see how I can rewire or reconfigure my network so that I'm able to take some of those out of full-time service. So I did have a comment from a fellow YouTuber who asked about, hey, his device is not finding anything. And so my response back to him was essentially that it's going to take time to find devices. I've hit month three and my sense is still discovering devices. Just yesterday, it actually discovered the light in the master bathroom. And so granted, I use that light every day but it took three months to discover it. Now, why is that the case? I'm not fully sure. Um, maybe because I have only CFLs in it and because there are four CFLs in that single fixture, I don't know if it was just taking time to try to diagnose which bulb is which or whether all those bulbs were collectively working together or something else of that nature. But it still has only, like I say, just identified that device. So in the email that since sent for the month of September, I noticed something that it said that my always on load has actually dropped. However, the savings amount was zero, which doesn't make sense because if I reduce the amount of electrical electricity that I'm using, then the cost should be something compared to previous months. So um, that's one complaint that I have. I was going to send a message to them to see if that was just a bug on their end, or is it really just so insignificant that it, you know, let's say it was just pennies compared to like actual dollars amount that it only, the email only can say dollars instead of like dollars and cents. All right, so that wraps things up for this month's Sense Energy Monitor review. If you have any questions, you can drop those in the comment section below. If you have any issues, you can also drop those in the comment section below. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I post my latest updates regarding Sense Energy Monitor and any other projects that I'm working on.